This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the exceptions to the trend in ionization energy. We will start by reviewing the trends in ionization energy in the periodic table. So as we go down a group, for example, group 18, we can see that the ionization energy decreases from helium to neon to argon. This occurs due to the increase in atomic radius as we go down a group. As we go from left to right across a period, for example period 2 starting with lithium, we can see that the ionization energy increases. This is due to the increase in nuclear charge and the decrease in atomic radius. However, if we look closely at the graph, we can see that the ionization energy actually decreases between beryllium and boron, nitrogen and oxygen, magnesium and aluminium, and phosphorus and sulfur. So next we'll have a look at the reasons for these exceptions to the trend in ionization energy. Let's start by looking at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy between beryllium and boron. Beryllium has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2. Boron has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Boron has one more electron than beryllium and that electron is located in a 2p orbital. Electrons in p orbitals are slightly higher in energy and further from the nucleus than electrons in s orbitals. Therefore, they require less energy to remove. So basically, this electron in the 2p orbital is easier to remove than an electron in a 2s orbital. This explains the decrease in ionization energy between beryllium and boron. A similar explanation can be applied for the decrease in ionization energy from magnesium to aluminium, except that the electron configurations are 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 for magnesium, and 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1 for aluminium. Electrons in a 3p orbital are further away from the nucleus and higher in energy than electrons in a 3s orbital, therefore they require less energy to remove. Next we look at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy between nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Oxygen has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Here we can see the electron in box diagrams for nitrogen on the left and oxygen on the right. When an electron is removed from an oxygen atom, it is removed from a doubly occupied p orbital. An electron in a doubly occupied orbital is repelled by the other electron and requires less energy to remove than an electron in a half filled orbital. So because of the repulsion between these two electrons in the doubly occupied p orbital, it requires less energy to remove than this single electron in the half filled orbital and this explains the decrease in ionization energy between nitrogen and oxygen. A similar explanation can be applied for the decrease in ionization energy between phosphorus and sulfur. These two atoms have their valence electrons in the 3p sublevel. In sulfur, the electron is removed from a doubly occupied p orbital. In phosphorus, the electron is removed from a half filled p orbital. Electrons in a doubly occupied orbital require less energy to remove than electrons in a half-filled orbital. This is due to the repulsion between the electrons.